things over to Frank here on center court and let's get this thing underway. Yeah. What do you say? I'm ready. Bring it, baby. Here we go. I don't know why I see a T-shirt in the future for that pose. The cornhole dude with yes, the backward sir. hat. I feel like we're going to see a, a T-shirt <laughs> somewhere down the line. You know, we always talk about new players. We, we love to see new players. Ryan Hart, our first time seeing him on center court. Mm -hmm. He's throwing the Big Daddy Carnages. He's out of Louisville. A lot of those guys out of Louisville, where Big Daddy's from, throw those back. Yeah, he's a, uh, a Keith Blair product. Yeah, absolutely. We'll go ahead and uh, give Keith, who is a legend in the ACO, yes, we'll give him the, uh, the juice on that for having brought along these players as, as he has wanted to do. And so these guys are underway and those first couple of points are going to work their way to Ryan. So yeah. nicely done there. He's going to grab those right out of the chute as he ambles his way down to collect his bags. A, a little bit slower pace than Bob is working. Hopefully Bob's not overthinking what he's doing, but he's throwing those luckies. And uh, I know Charlie Case was on board on the broadcast a little while ago, the man behind luckies. So uh, glad to have him on board yeah. as well. And uh, Bob always doing a nice job of repping for luckies. He does. He does. And Bob's had a good weekend here. He came in second to seniors. He did. Won the co-ed, and there he is fighting to try to get to the finals of the the singles. For singles, absolutely. Yeah. Now, uh, Rob, yeah, the grasshopper just played and was just taken down by Matt Gammon. Unfortunately, he was running out of the king seat, was Riley Brewster, but Matt Gammon double-dipped him. There was a couple of nine spots that uh, did really did Riley in. He gave up two nine spots in that second, that double dip game. <clears throat> so we're gonna uh, continue to watch these guys as it develops a couple of points gathered there by Bob Heil. So he's able to even it up at a deuce a piece. Yeah, Bob, and like I said, he's, he's had a really good weekend. And I, my first time I've ever, you know, I, pick on him online a lot. <laughs> First time I've ever really got to meet him face to face and he's a good dude, man. He's a good dude and he's a great thrower. Great thrower. Always carries a good oh. crew with him as well too. Oh boy, that was close. That was close to being able to uh, flush that right down the drain there. But ultimately, uh, as they straighten out the Carpets just a little bit, but you know, we asked them to do their own housekeeping, not yeah. a problem. No one's been asked to vacuum just yet, but it doesn't hurt <laughs> to have them straighten up a little bit. So, no blood, no foul there. And that first bag continues to be held after the last score by Bob Heil. And again, he he, he, he travels with a good crew. And, and anytime we head up north into Michigan, Wisconsin, and, and you, you pointed this out, you thought he was from Wisconsin. I did. He gets uh, yeah. in and takes so much, so many points and so much money out of the Wisconsin. Regionals that you thought he was from Wisconsin, but uh, right there, very close. Now a, a bag off of the back did not help uh, Ryan there whatsoever, no. and he's going to uh, feel the Ron's, feel the pain of that mistake. Ron's going to pick up one on that. It was Bob. Oh, it was Bob's off the back. Bob That's let right, Bob. one go. Back behind it. At some point, somebody needs to turn my chair around so I'm facing the boards. <laughs> Can somebody do that for me? I please? got you covered, man. I got you covered. <laughs> That's a cover. Uh, Elijah was asking, are we going to be live on stadium? We are live on stadium. Watch stadium.com. The app, for whatever reason, last night gave up the ghost on us, so we're directing everybody to watch stadium.com if you'd like fine. to watch it there. However you choose to consume, that's how we want to serve it up. Absolutely. Philip Barnett, the Mississippi Ninja, alongside of Finn. I am the loudmouth for the ACO, all of the action here, and these guys dialing it in and I would say right now Bob Heil owns the center of the yeah, hole but he a chance to pick up four right here right yeah. down the center and he does he uh, he let that one go as if he was already reaching down to put the put the couple up there on the board so score Holio takes over here and he calculates the point six three doubles up Ryan Hart Ryan the six seed Bob the two seed and uh, we invite you to, as always to consume as much cornhole content as you can Whole nation, Rich Pyle, you know, yeah. Rich from Hardcore Pawn and a handful of other TV shows, a handsome man to say the least. And his wow. lovely better half, Tracy, they put together a great show called A Handsome Man. Whole Nation, Wednesday night, six o'clock. You can check it out. There's all kinds of great stuff. Getting schooled and 
airmail challenges. I know they were shooting some airmail yeah. challenges here today in Vegas, so there's all kinds of fun stuff there I as well. Yeah, he got that to go. I thought he might sure get that did. back. See if Ryan can finish, yeah, he gives oh, up he two. does. He's just waiting for that other one to drip in, but he doesn't, so that double is going to... You know, we say that we, we see new people on center court, and sometimes you can be a little nervous coming in your first time on center court. This is our first time seeing him on center court. Mm -hmm. He is wearing a pro jersey from last year. And I would tell you this, if he wins the singles championship, having worn that pro jersey throughout the course of the singles tournament, he's going to grab himself a $1,000 yeah. ACO bonus. That's something we haven't really spoken too no. much about over the course of the weekend, but at every single major, that ACO Pro jersey gives you an opportunity. Oh, oh how about that? What that a shot. That was string Did music right that was there. A, uh, Man, I'm at Ryan right behind him. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's uh, what's referred to in other yeah. <laughs> circles as the popcorn fart. That's right. <sighs> Booming. Now about that. Oh, oh, nicely to pick up two. <laughs> but they are firing away. That, this is my kind of game right yeah, here. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And I tell you, neither one of them seems overly excited about no. anything. But that was fun to watch right there. A little, what do you call that? The air show. Not yeah. the air fail, but the air show. That was the air show. The Blue Angels have arrived. It's good stuff. It's good yeah. stuff. All right. So Heil takes first pitch at step and a half that he's He takes a developed. big step. Yeah, he really does. It, it's a big, it's a kind of a half step first and then a big step to step for his release. But uh, you know, you know who else takes that big step like that? Two steps. Oh, there's a couple. There's the machine uh, gun. Caleb Hurt. And, uh, the and machine Maggie gun. Geiger. Yeah. Maggie Geiger takes. Well, she almost steps back there mm -hmm. into the backdrop to let hers go. She's throwing it almost uh, 29, 30 feet. And eight bags. To get it there. In the hole. bagger, nicely done there. These guys just very nonchalantly work their way down. And it's interesting because if you look at Ryan, his delivery, he almost kind of comes across the back of his mm -hmm. body and around front with his arm swing as well. So, you know, different sides of the boards as they move back and forth that uh, it can affect you just a little bit. But watch watch how he lets go of the bag. It kind of comes from around. It looks mm -hmm. like it comes from around behind him. And you know, the winner's going to take on Matt Cummins. And guess what I just saw? Matt Cummins is that in the middle of the room, throwing back. Throwing back. Yes, he is. Now there's that bag coming around from the small of That's his back. Right. He does. He's able to get that bag of his to to fall and. Uh, That's a nice bag. A replace a it. Replacement. Oh, oh, up and over. He went for the airmail yeah. and. Uh, that was a gutsy shot right there. But that's was. gonna that's gonna end up hurting a little bit, I do believe. Is he gonna try it again, or is he just gonna clean? Oh, he is gonna try it again. Oh, and he does Bob a huge, he huge does. solid right there, and leaves himself hung up on the 11 o'clock position, a five spot. Uh, unfortunately, been, given up there by Ryan Hart. He's got that Riley Brewster gate going on right yeah, there. He does. I'm almost wondering if we need to get the Hannibal Electric yeah, card out to get him man. side to side. I'm telling you. He is moving very slow when he has a bad round. Yeah, glad to have Nick and Andy and Tim, Sidney, William, Carrie, Jeremy, Eli. Man, all those people watching us, man, I love it. Uh, They're not watching I'm, us. They're I'm watching not watching the corner, us. You, man. you might want to rephrase How about that? listening to us? <laughs> they may not even be listening. You know, we both have those radio <laughs> faces, you know. Or they could have the sound turned down, you know. Uh, I wouldn't blame them. <laughs> I'd have a little, it's probably some Bee Gees cranked up yeah. and just have this up on the big screen and that's what's that's so right. fun about and there this. there may be some somewhere doing that. Absolutely put us up on the big screen. I know the Main Street Grill in Tennessee they had us up last yeah. night. We saw some screen cap photos so we're always glad to have from all over the country. Two more for Bob. Anywhere and everywhere so that's going to post 17, is it 17, 17 to, to three. 3. And Ryan he's maybe struck in the moment here. Now Kim we're glad to have you on. Wade welcome aboard. This is a a match that really seems to have gotten away a little bit from Ryan, but we've said it before and we'll yeah. say it till we're blue in the face, red, white, and blue in the face. As a matter of fact, no lead is safe, not even 17 to three. And we never count anybody out for mm -hmm. sure, as Bob has two out of play here. Mm -hmm. You know, no, that could start a flood. You never know. You're looking at four points if you're able to finish up, finish solid. Bob's just going to oh, oh boy, and looking, looking at, at a six. six spot. And there's a six pack yeah. delivered straight from Bob Heil. And look how much faster Ryan is to walking Ryan after that round. Yeah, he's going to make it down there yeah. in, uh, this, in this particular time zone. Nicely done. 
Troy, Bill, Casey, glad to have you on board. This is a great match here. The sixth seed out of the red lane, Ryan Hart, Bob Heil, the two seed, holding what is still a, a pretty solid lead, 17 to nine, but 17-3 looked a lot better from where he's standing. So he's got those lucky bags in hand. He's just getting back to that methodical pace and that pitch. You he's never know what a six spot might kickstart you to. Mm -hmm. Just kind of put that bag up there across his body that's and in. Nice. That's a nice finish and a clean up there by Ryan. Oh, wow. that's a nice get yes. around there just to get through the center left. Oh, oh I thought he might pick that up. And it's just a bag that Bob really needs, really I think. Does. Oh, and he didn't get he it. He leaves it up and sets it up. And I hope that doesn't get in his head because we saw this happen last night in seniors. You talked about his facial expressions. There there does need to be, maybe we need to get like a courtroom sketch artist yeah. to start working up some of the uh, right. Bob Heil facial expressions. At least a good photographer because that would make a great picture show. Yeah. We, could do, uh, we could do one of those t-shirts, the different faces of Bob yeah. Heil. Happy, sad, yeah. grumpy. Really? Silly. That's nice. <laughs> and now Ryan, is, he seems to find a stroke. Yeah, he really does. And if Bob's going to keep putting him off to the left or right just far enough out of play to give him that middle, it looks like he's going to take it. He might can get that one, but you, know, you don't want to pull what Riley Brewster did, the bag that you, you can't get. You keep focused on yeah. him. Oh, and that, boy, and that's what I'm off, saying. One off the there, back. He and did. It's going to be a five spot right there, so that's going to pull it within uh, three now. That's 11 straight mm -hmm. for yeah. Ryan Hart. That's pretty crazy. And, uh, you know, I know Blair's probably watching out of the Louisville market, and uh, we miss you out here, Keith. We'd love to have you out here in Vegas, but I know you got to be fist pumping for your boy. Mm -hmm. Hunter Johnson in Ryan's corner. You know, that's the way you see all these different cornhole organizations pulling for their their players. It's, it's nice to see. Kelsey throwing up some hand claps and an LFG. I'd love to tell you exactly what that means, but I don't know that we're allowed to yeah. do that even streaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bob Bags did slip in. Mm -hmm. uh, well, he does have a nice, just he does have a really nice delivery. It's just so smooth and so uh, casual. And it it's one of those, it just, there's some pitches that you see that look like they're agony every single yeah. pitch. His are just so smooth. He's really developed a nice, a nice stroke there with those luckies. Actually, both of these guys have a smooth delivery. Yeah, they really do. Very, very uh, nonchalant. I always feel like I'm really having to launch <laughs> it to get it to the hole if I'm trying to shoot an airmail or just trying to get it to lay low and slide in. But these guys just, they let the bag oh, of the physics do all the work. Right like that. That's nice. That's really nice. All That's, right. And Bob has been struggling a little bit going this way. He seems to have found a little bit of a flow. He's going to come in and push through. King seed in uh, yeah. this particular match is going to be Matt Cummings. We've had a couple of questions about that. Nice. So these guys fighting to take him on, and we'll have to double dip Matt Cummings, That's Gary Bearpaw's partner in doubles. Gary Bearpaw was my pick who got eliminated by Lane Cruz earlier. Yes, he did. And then Lane Cruz got eliminated by Lane Cruz yeah. to a certain degree yeah, a little much. bit earlier as well. Yeah. He did make a few mistakes that he hadn't been making all day. Mm -hmm. Doug Parker got the best of him. He did. And these guys have thrown 16 in a row and they're working on 24. We see Paul uh, Schrader off in the yeah. periphery here. He was a f figure in the Seniors last night, he ended up third. Yeah, third falling to uh, Bob Heil, who you see here. So he's yeah. probably keeping an eye on the competition there. But Bob was able to get in there and was uh, just ran right into the buzzsaw known as Johnny the Thief Thomas. <laughs> so Johnny is our seniors champion for Las Vegas. And again, by way of reminder, we're at the Westgate Resort Casino Resort and Spa here in Las Vegas, Nevada throughout the weekend for great cornhole action. Thrilled to have you along whether you're watching on stadium or no matter how, you are gobbling up the best cornhole action on planet Earth. Bob Heil, Ryan Hart, working their way out of the elimination in a semifinal. Oh, and in finally. bracket B, there's a little bit of a, yeah. a leave and that's uh, off to the right there from Bob. And uh, he's cleaned it up, but he's unfortunately bumped his other bag out of the way and given it there to Ryan as a chance to 
uses a carom. And, and, and that's 20 bags in a row for Ryan since he got those 11 points. It's going to cost, uh, cost yeah. Bob the, uh, the deuce, yep. So. And, and we, like I said, we don't count <laughs> anybody, <laughs> nobody out yes. when it, big leads or not. The, I, I want to pull the Willy Wonka, strike that, reverse it, yeah. go back, and hear what we said about three minutes ago. That's right. When it was 17 to not many. Like I said, 11 points, kick started running hard, and he has not missed a bag since. He has not. You are correct. And there he goes for his 28th in a row. There it is. He is what the, I believe they refer to as in the zone. And you know what? Bob's only missed one out of those 28. Well, and that's true. And what's interesting, though, is is, is you, you almost wonder. We saw this a little bit last night in the women's. Who's going to make the first yeah. mistake at this point when it gets this close to being tied up again? It's, let, okay, I've got my groove. I'm going to make you make the mistake. And they're both playing that way. There's not really a lot of defensive play happening no. here these last five rounds. No, and neither yeah, one of them want to try the block. Spoken. Spoken like a true jinx. <laughs> I mean, he <laughs> goes right through it. Bob should be able to. I find think a way Ryan to may that pull up, that bag in for him. Man. Yeah. Ah. It's going to be an interesting uh, decision for Bob. Is he going to? Oh, he's going to continue to take that left side of the hole, which has been offered up to him. Right, uh, so, let's see if Bob can go in here. He, he's thinking about shooting this He's thinking one. about shooting the air. He's going to take a look. And saying, he, he's going to go take a look. And I saw that look in his eyes. And it's very, very tempting. All right. He's down there assessing the cup. He looks, talks, looks at the score. Talking to his caddy. Find out what the break yeah. is going to be on this one. Deliberately steps back to grab his bag in hand, that right hand. He's, and he's thought about it. Let's see what he does. He's flipped about it. He's coming in high. Oh, <laughs> and he shoots it, but he Just misses the clean. drag. But boy, that was a really, yeah. really nice shot. And you know what? I, I got to admire the fact yeah, that he absolutely. walked down there. He said, I can shoot this. He went back and he did. And while he didn't grab that bag for the airmail drag, uh, I got to be honest with you, knowing you've got that shot in your bag, no pun intended, and you can just pull it out when you need it is really, really remarkable. That was a really nice shot. You, you, know, you say that, and like, like you said, having confidence to shoot that in this close a game, 17 to 16. If he misses, he gives up three. Mm -hmm. and there's a yeah. replacement there. Now Ryan comes up and begins that front side wall. There's a clean up there, Bob. Nicely done. Ryan's going to, I think. Oh, and he misses, and Bob may can push this in here. He yeah. moved it over just enough, just enough for, for him Bob. to get it. Oh, oh Bob. Oh, Bob yeah. gives up two, and guess what we got? Yeah, we got ourselves. We all of a sudden lead have change. a lead change. <laughs> and, and when the when the bag is still in the yeah. up part of its arc, and you hear "Oh, Bob,", no, Bob. coming from "Oh, Bob," yeah, you know, Bob himself. "Oh, Bob" is not all that "Oh, happy" with his "Oh, lucky" pitch right there, but. You know what? The lead change gives the first bag back to Ryan. He's going to go ahead and lay one up to the right. Bob really, I was going to say, seemed to own the left side of the hole, but just as I think and say it out loud, Ryan sets himself up nicely to push, and Bob does it for him. 15 points in a row It's pretty for, crazy. for Ryan when you think about it. And that bag is, uh, is ready to yeah. drop right there, but Bob's going to clean up just a little bit. Oh no, Bob has to go in he's here. He's got to get it in. And no, does. and he does. Well, he does what needs to be done, and that's what he's done. Yeah. Every chance he's gotten, and I tell you, last night we watched him in the seniors. He was just this close, and he talks about that a lot when we're just out chatting in the interior rooms. You know, I just feel like I'm this close, and yeah. it's not just this close in any particular game. He feels like his game and everything is just this close to being on the top of the leaderboard leaving every major he participates in. A low block there from, hey, let's from see, Ryan. I wonder if Ryan threw that on purpose. Oh, <laughs> nice shot. How about that? Now, is he going to shoot one? No, he's going oh, for the push. Boy. Let's see if Bob goes up and over again, put a little pressure I, on. I uh, feel like with a bag on the yeah. back, why wouldn't he? I think so. 
Why wouldn't he? He's he looking at, at the, the scoreboard. scoreboard. <laughs> I think he. I think as good as his airman is, yeah. he should. He's gonna. Yep, up and over. Oh, oh and he hits how it about that? again. And that's a big confidence builder. And there's Ryan's gonna take uh, that push and just leave. Now it he up. just needs to lay up right just here. Gonna lay low. Yep. He, yeah, that's pretty good. Nicely done, but this is this is a big shot right here. Yeah. He's gonna have to really get a lot done with one bag left up and over. Oh, oh and, and it's off Bob the back. is going to steal this victory. Yes, yes, All he, he has is. to do is put it on the board and yes, hope one of Ryan's doesn't fall. He's going to go take a look and he see takes exactly where he can put out. it. He's going to see exactly where he can put it. And we've talked about this. Maybe the hardest shot in cornhole when yeah. you have to have it, just put it on the board and don't put anything else in. Yeah, 7-4. Oh. That's four. He doesn't even have to throw uh, this back. He doesn't have to do it. He can. No. Nope. Yeah. No, he doesn't. All right, well, that's going to do it. The handshakes have been exchanged, and Bob Heil moves on past Ryan Hart. Congratulations. He will move on against Matt, Matt Cummings, Cummings, and he's going to have to double dip Matt Cummings, who we have learned quite a bit about here this afternoon, yeah. and we will see them on center court. Congratulations to Bob Heil, who, uh, much as Matt Gammon did, doesn't seem real thrilled about how it was he got here, but he should be absolutely very happy. We need to get out and rearrange the carpets. Yeah. Again, we've got to find our way to uh, Frank Gears so that we can. And how about the sportsmanship of Matt? Get our officials. Uh, helping him straighten it out. He just lost to the man. He's going to help him straighten yeah, it out. They're going to get it straightened yeah. out. Nice little camaraderie there. ACO, we are Cornhole.